Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we've got something exciting once again and this time it's kind of like skincare, well it is skincare um, but yeah as you can tell my skin's crap as always, when will it ever end, um, who knows. So as most of you know I am like an affiliate with Jolie Beauty, I review most of their stuff that they come out with, um, it's an amazing brand, I really love it. So the main reason for today's video is to review the eye serum mainly. When I first saw this I was like oh my god I can't believe that they're coming out with an eye serum and the packaging is amazing. Again the ingredients like when I read out the ingredients they're really high up there which is amazing. You, all of you know that I'm really high on like ingredients and stuff. So yeah I'm excited to dive into this. Um, I use the Ula Henriksen um, banana bright eye cream and as amazing as that is it's kind of like thicker but as amazing as that is it is really really pricey, it's like £30 for a little jar's worth and um, so yeah I'm really excited to try an alternative and see if this lives up to kind of like, even though they're kind of different but I'm just excited to see what happens. So yeah obviously I have nothing on my skin so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying both of these, talking about each one, talking about the ingredients and we're going to be putting um, some makeup on, seeing how they lay on top of everything and like underneath it all and all that jazz and yeah we're gonna see what the crack is with these products. So starting off with the Uni Glow, so this is what the packaging looks like and obviously it says it's got 24 karat gold infused enriched with vitamin E and you get 30 milliliters of product. So Jolie Beauty is a cruelty free brand so this is cruelty free and um, I'm not sure if it's vegan. I'm not sure if it's vegan it doesn't say on the box but usually Jolie Beauty are vegan and I believe that the eye serum says that yeah it says that it's vegan so whether this one is or not I'm not too sure but the Jolie Beauty usually is vegan. So it comes with like some little instructions and the first one is a daily moisturiser. So it basically says formulated with a blend of botanical ingredients, rosehip seed oil which I love, vitamin E I'm really big on. This beauty serum is an effective lightweight moisturiser that can be used daily to keep your skin healthy and hydrated. The pure 24 karat gold flakes absorb right into your skin leaving your skin glowing and naturally radiant. So that sounds amazing as a daily moisturiser. I like to use the L'Oreal Hydrogenius because it's got aloe vera in it and it's just like a really beautiful like gel moisturiser so it's not gonna like clog up my pores during the day. Um, I prefer gels during the day because I am oily throughout my T-zone. Uh, so I stay away from like creams. Usually it helps to keep the oil at bay if I'm going in with something more gel. So this does sound amazing. I remember using this before and I absolutely loved it. I don't remember why I stopped using it. Um, so it says with foundation you can mix it one to three drops to mix with your foundation to keep your skin hydrated and glowing for a natural, longer lasting dewy finish. So I do have moisturiser on at the moment. It's only my L'Oreal Hydrogenius one though, so that's fine. Um, but what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna apply it like a serum onto my face and then apply foundation on top. So just a quick overview on ingredients. So right at the top, you can see 24 karat gold, vitamin C, which I'm obsessed with, vitamin A. Uh, vitamin C is really gonna brighten the skin along with the 24 karat gold. Uh, vitamin E, grape seed oil, collagen, rose hip seed oil, hyaluronic acid. And yeah, as you can see, um, all of the ingredients are really, really high up. And that's how you can tell if a product is good. The ingredients that they say is in this will be really high up there. And that means that they use high amounts of it. If the ingredients are really low, that means they use a, like not much of it. So like say Kylie Jenner's, um, is it kiwi seed thing? Um, basically it promotes that it's got kiwi in it or something as the main ingredient but when you look at the ingredients it's right at the bottom so basically they're promoting that product to say that it's amazing and this ingredient is going to be amazing but in reality the view is one percent whereas this vitamin c is right at the top so it means that it's like 
going to be an amazing ingredient sir. So when you open it, this is what the packaging looks like. Obviously it's like a dropper, kind of feels like a nipple, um, like it feels really weird and nipply. And yeah, it's all like black packaging with the gold and it's really, really sleek. So it says shake well before use and then when you open it, that's what it looks like. So look at that. You can see like the gold flakes in there and it's kind of like a serum more, more than an oil. One thing that I remember being a little bit annoying about this is that when you put it in, the, like the serum kind of seeps over and it can get everywhere and um, so I kind of wish that they had like a thing around the top that removed it from the tube and so that it just kept it inside the tube and um, but yeah that's that's one of the uh, like negative things like as you can see it's all on the top there so that's just one of the annoying things I wish that it had something that stopped it coming up if that makes sense so now that we've spoken pretty much about the ingredients and um obviously what's in it there's not much else to say other than put it on my face again it's got the ingredients on the back and um, again the ingredients are really high up there so it's going to be amazing a fun fact is I actually used this um, the other night after Dermarolin. If you don't know what Dermarolin is, I did do a video on that. Um, it's basically like microneedling at home. I, uh, and as you can see, I've got um, scarring. So it's basically to get rid of that. Um, I like, skin, promote skin rejuvenation. And you've got to be careful what you use on your skin after Dermarolin. And I reached out to Jolie Beauty and asked them if I could use this and they said yeah go ahead so i used it and i had joking in the morning i woke up and my skin was like there wasn't any redness which usually there is because usually i only you put hyaluronic acid on my skin after dermarolin but i used this and i was so happy and so surprised so yeah here we go we're gonna put it on our face okay so i'm just gonna take the dropper and just like put a few drops i don't know i always use way too much like even with my Kate Macabre. So one thing you'll notice about this is the scent. I remember last time when I used this is that I don't like the smell. I kind of wish that the put, because because this serum is on natural ingredients, I kind of wish that they put a natural vanilla in there, like a vanilla bean, um, just so that it's still natural, but it's got a natural vanilla scent. Just because, I don't know, I'm just not keen on the smell of this. But the ingredients kind of overweigh that for me anyway. Like, it's not a bad smell. It's just like a oil smell. I, I don't know what it is, but yeah. So we're just rubbing it into the skin. And as you can see already off the bat, the glow that it gives you. Now, this feels... So yeah, it kind of feels like a, li a, a little mix of a serum and an oil but more serum -y than an oil like does that even make any sense but yeah it's just gliding on the skin and you'll be able to tell that if it soaks into the skin nicely but yeah guys that's what the serum looks like it just gives a really beautiful glow i feel like it's brightened up my skin like i don't know about you guys but my skin looks really nice let me get my Fenty Beauty mirror. So yeah, like just looking at it, my skin just looks really nice, plumped, hydrated. And yeah, let's move on to the eye cream and you're not ready for this packaging. So this eye serum, I'm gonna read a little bit about it. So this is the Jolie Beauty Bright Eyes Hydrating and Smoothing Eye Serum. Now this says the Unigo Bright Eyes Serum will hydrate and smooth the under eye area. All natural ingredients such as vitamin C, vitamin E and hyaluronic acid alongside powerful plant-based ingredients including cocoa butter, rose hip and white tea. I'm so excited um, cocoa butter is in there because I absolutely love cocoa butter. It's beautifully lightweight formula sinks easily into the skin, plumping up fine lines. <laughs> yes, please. Leaving the eye area perfectly hydrated without any greasiness, concealer and setting powder will glide on like a dream on top. That sounds absolutely amazing. I get my way, get out my way. So 
so again it's got the aqua which is just water um 24 karat gold glycerin hyaluronic acid vitamin c vitamin e um, it's got so many amazing ingredients in it again what i'm hoping is that the 24 karat gold and the vitamin c is going to help brighten like my under eye dark circles a good tip with this and the other one is that if you keep these in like a little mini fridge beside your bedside table or whatever whilst this has been in the fridge it's going to obviously make it nice and cold and what you can do is obviously put it on your eyes and it's going to feel really really cold and that's going to like de-puff your eyes if you wake up with like puffy eyes and stuff so that's just a little tip to throw in there so guys are you ready for the packaging because it's sick so guys this is the uniglo bright eyes serum and packaging girls like as soon as i saw this i was like oh my god that is amazing and beautiful and it comes with a pump like i'm so obsessed so you get 20 milliliters in this one pump is too much so i'd go in if you can i don't know how it's going to come out but half a pump will be more than enough because this spreads really beautifully so yeah half a pump would probably be suited but we're gonna give it a go and let's see what happens so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and then i'm just gonna take some and we're just gonna start putting it on the under eye and then you don't really want to rub or anything but i just like to smooth it in like this and then what you can do is just like start tapping it and then that's going to help de-puff everything and um, smooth out any fine lines that you may have and it's just better for the skin so i like to bring it out here so if you bring it out onto the side that's going to help and um, prevent any crow's feet from appearing any like you know like when you smile and you get these lines putting some here is really going to help it and then if i've got anything left over i like to just put it over my lids and my brows because I feel like no one puts anything on the lids and if you like use eyeshadow on that then you're not going to want saggy lids when you're older so just taking a little bit and putting it on your lids your eyeshadow is going to go on really nicely as well because your lids are going to be really hydrated and plumped I'm just feeling this it feels really beautiful it doesn't feel oily it just feels like really kind of watery but more of a serum and it's just gliding into the skin really beautiful, beautifully. When I feel this one, it's synced into the skin nicely. So it's not going to sit on top of like your eyes, basically. So as you can see, one pump is definitely a lot because I've just done both eyes and with, like with less than that, and I've still got all that product left. So if you do have all this products left. If you've got any dry spots, like you can put it on your elbows, I would. Um, but if you've got any dry spots, like just take. If you've got combination skin, don't put it in your T-zone. But you can just like focus it on the outsides where you might have a little bit of dry skin. Okay, so I've just come a little bit closer just so you can see how glowy my skin looks. Like it just looks really beautiful and plumped, really, really hydrated under eyes when when i feel them i can feel that they're really plumped and they don't feel greasy they don't feel oily or anything they just feel really nice and all of my other skin like it just feels really nice and plump so now we're gonna see how makeup sits on top and also if it improves makeup wear um and yeah let's get to put in on makeup so i'm not very tanned at the moment so i'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation um, and I'm going to be using the shade 190 which is kind of like my transitioning shade if that makes sense um, but yeah we're going to put this on usually I would go in with a Fenty Beauty primer as well but I just want to see how this looks without a primer just so we can get a really nice feel of how it's going to look on the skin. So I'm going in with the soft matte foundation. Just because I feel like a lot of people wear matte foundations. And especially me having oily skin. I just want to see how it looks under a matte foundation. Whether it looks too oily or that kind of stuff. So I'm just going in with a blender. 
just to make sure everything's nice and blended and also I use a blender just um, to apply foundation to where I need any extra coverage which is usually my cheeks. So just going in with concealer and then what we'll do we'll see what it looks like without powder and then we're going to powder and then see what everything looks like. It will look powdery because I do use a setting spray anyway regardless but we'll see how it looks. Alright guys, so this is what my skin is looking like um, without any powder. Obviously it's going to look a little bit dewy. Um, obviously I've only got a soft matte foundation on so it's not like totally matte. But yeah, as you can see it's still got a really beautiful glow. So we're going to go ahead and powder, put on the rest of my face and I'll be right back just to see how everything looks. Alright guys, so I've just um, thrown on some bronzer, Fenty Beauty bronzer and some lip gloss and done my brows and this is what my skin is looking like. I haven't put any highlighter on just because I wanted to see if it'd give us a natural glow and look at that. My skin looks absolutely beautiful considering that I packed so much powder on top as well but my skin looks like skin. So guys, final thoughts on these two beauties. The eye serum, I absolutely love. Like, look at my under eye. It just looks so bright, so flawless and smooth. And you only need a tiny bit. Um, so I think that this could be my new favourite um, under eye primer hydrator. A good thing about this is you can use it on a night as well, which I'm going to do. I'm going to use it morning and night um, because it just looks so flawless underneath makeup and I feel as though it's going to be a really amazing hydrator on the night as well. Um, the Uniglow, I absolutely adore. I remember why I loved it so much now. I'm going to have to use it more to see the skincare benefits in the long run and um, because obviously it has got vitamin c and i do have like um dark spots um and obviously it's got vitamin a and all that good stuff hyaluronic acid so i feel as uh in like using these two together for a long period of time skin is going to be amazing and glowing and also because it's got the amazing skincare in them i feel as though it's gonna be amazing in the long run and you're gonna have perfect skin. So I believe I got these two for around about £30. I think they're £16.99 each. Just let me go on the website and I'll double check that. Okay, so both of these retail on the Jolie Beauty website for £16.99 each. That is an amazing price to say that you're getting amazing ingredients and you're getting skin like this. For an eye serum, £16.99 is amazing considering I'm paying like £30. And although the Banana Bright Eye Cream is amazing, it's just not giving me what I want, if that makes sense. Whereas this has got, I don't know, kind of better ingredients and ingredients that I know that are in there. Uh, so yeah, these two together and also if you use my code ASHMAN at the checkout, you'll save even more money. You guys know I'm huge on skincare, I'm a skincare advocate and also um, I like wearing makeup and look at my skin. My skin just looks so smooth, so beautiful. So yeah guys, if you want to grab these, don't forget to go on the Jolie website enter the code ashman you'll save you for more money for uh, they're amazing for like a little christmas present if you want to give them to someone who you know that isn't in need of a pick me up and they want good skin and as as well as like underneath makeup i think they're really good for makeup lovers as well makeup artists because then you've got your moisturizer your eye serum and your makeup application on clients is going to be absolutely amazing so you're going to get even more benefits out of these so I can't wait to use it on clients as well. That brings us to the end of this review. What more can I say other than I absolutely love them? Obviously the Uniglow I've used before so I, I, I remember why I love it now but the eye serum absolutely love so far. Can't wait to use it tonight on my eyes and 
yeah, I'm excited for what Jolie Beauty bring out next because they've got a few a few more goodies up the sleeves. So I'm excited. As always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.